10 parental rules that turn Jewish kids into geniuses. Many mothers dream of a genius child. However, despite all the tricks on children's upbringing, mm. there is no special rule book on how to raise one. Jewish mothers do not have to resort to psychology articles and parental forums, and their kids often turn out to be little geniuses. We decided to learn their secret and discovered several important rules. 10. Reward Independence In ordinary families, parents are convinced that children will succeed in life if they believe they can do anything. In Jewish families, parents find it more important that children think they can do anything themselves. In Israeli cafes, it is common to see a one-year-old eating a steak all on his own. Children are allowed to do anything on their own as soon as they are physically capable of doing so. Nine, all things are difficult before they are easy. Children's endeavors must be acknowledged and cherished. Mm. If a child started a new hobby at any age, her or his parents should support and encourage her. If something does not go well, older relatives would say, meaning, all beginnings are difficult. Eight, trust is the best reward. So, how should we reward those endeavors? Not with candy, and that's for sure. In Jewish families, a child is rewarded with trust. If he or she is fully trusted to do a task by himself, it means they are doing a good job. 7. The outer is not everything. If a European mother sees how Jewish children look while talking a walk outside, she will freak out. They are often covered in mud, their fingers are sticky, their knees are dusty, and some buttons are missing. The truth is that keeping your child clean and neat on the outside takes too much effort and time from the parent, as well as the child. Jewish parents consider it useless to the child's personal growth and development to always keep clean clothes on. Children themselves don't care at all what they look like. 6. Accepting Untidiness Jewish kids are often surrounded by chaos, which does not bother their parents. Mm. They understand. Children are untidy. They knock things over. They spill everything around them. That's why, instead of nagging their kids about their dirty rooms, they allow them to live however they feel comfortable, explaining why tidiness is useful to them with time. 5. All energy runs out eventually. Other parents may feel exhausted just by looking at how Jewish kids behave. They spend the whole day running around, and no one tells them, don't climb that. Don't touch this. Or calm down. Parents of such energetic kids find it important for the children to let it all out while they are still young. This way, as adults, they will be more confident and persistent in all their endeavors. Four, wise freedom. Indeed, Jewish kids are allowed many things. Mm. Even another drawing on wallpaper is seen as a sign that a kid has the artistic potential of a great painter. However, there is a line which even a Jewish child cannot cross, disrespecting their family. It may only take a judging mm. look if he dyes your cat pink, but insulting a parent will earn the kid a much harsher punishment. Three, dad is the leader, and so is mom. <laughs> Respect for parents is taught from an early age. 
Every kid in the household knows that her parents are the leaders, and anything she does is of less importance. Therefore, children never depend on their parents to do or get something for them, but instead, they try to achieve things by themselves. 2. Child self-control exists. Within Jewish families, one cannot punish a child by taking something away. Mm. Within Jewish families, one cannot punish a child by taking something away. Instead, several rules are in place, granting a certain benefit for a correct action. Hence, the child does not think narrowly in terms of restrictions and punishments, but he or she learns to correct his behavior for their good. It's not for fear of being punished that a Jewish boy does not pour out his mother's perfume onto the neighbor's poodle. It's because he knows that instead of buying new perfume tomorrow, his mother could buy food instead. 1. Nothing goes unnoticed. Modern psychologists advise you not to praise your child for any scribble, thereby stimulating his development. Jewish parents are nonetheless convinced that any achievement must be rewarded. Mm. Even if a Jewish mother's child brings her a napkin with unrecognizable scribbles all over it, she will proudly present it as a painting to the rest of the family. So, would you agree with these points? Share your thoughts in the comments below the video. Don't forget to hit the like button and click subscribe to join the Bright Side of Life.